Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Good morning. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the third Sunday of Advent and we will light the candle of joy. Last Sunday we lit the candle of peace. We light today's candle along with the candle of hope and peace as we remember Jesus born in Bethlehem, who is our hope and our peace. Today we light the third candle of Advent, the candle of joy. In their old age, God gave Zechariah and Elizabeth a son called John. John spoke to the people bravely in the desert, denying his own comfort and prepared to die for what he believed. John taught that we should share what we have with others, treat each other kindly and show God's love. He did this because he cared for people and wanted them to repent and find God's forgiveness as he prepared the way of the Lord. Joy is like a candle shining in a dark place. As we look at the light of this candle, we celebrate the joy that God answered the prayers and that we have in Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, your witness, John the Baptist, grew up strong in spirit and prepared people for the coming of the Lord. He loved your people and baptized them in the river Jordan to wash away their sins. Help us to have the same love that we would be witnesses to him and spread the good news of your love. As Christmas draws closer each day, help us to be ready to welcome him. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I will go unto the altar of God. To God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may be worthy and participate in this holy sacrifice. And now, please make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God, I will offer today's confidior. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, 
and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. You are near, O Lord, by your gift give me life. I rejoice at your promise as one who has found rich spoil. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we lovingly prepare to celebrate the coming of your Son, enlighten our minds and fill us with your horror grace. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today being the third Sunday of Advent, we take the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me. He has sent me to bring good tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he hath clothed me with a robe of salvation, and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants, and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. The gradual for today, taken from Psalm 33. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. For in God our hearts rejoice. In your holy name we trust. May your kindness, Lord, be upon us. We have put our hope in you. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy. And may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who is called and calls unto you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. As a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, 
that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light who came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but it admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourselves? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. But there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. A man named John was sent from God. He came for a testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light but came to testify to the light. Words taken from today's Holy Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we light the third candle of Advent. This candle represents joy. It is rose in color, and is lit to remind all Christians of the joy of the coming of the Lord. Joy is truly at the heart of the season of Advent, as hope and peace are. Now we find that joy is defined as a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. But on this third Sunday of Advent, we find little joy in our world. In our great nation, we are met with the effects of the coronavirus, which has already taken the lives of over 292,000 beautiful souls averaging over 3,100 lives a day. More than the total loss of the lives of 9-11, more than the total lives lost at the Battle of Gettysburg, and more than those American soldiers who died on D-Day on June 6, 1944. As a nation, we are also met with a divided America a condition that has torn and continues to tear at the fabrics 
of our democracy. How sad that our nation, founded on the principles of freedom and democracy, have become enslaved to hatred, fear, falsehoods, and deceit. As the richest country in the world, we are also met with millions of people who are unemployed and homeless. We see images of unbelievable lines of people waiting for food. How sad that our two political parties cannot come together to truly help those in need. Those who choose politically to remain, under, to remain divided, unable to see or to choose not to see, the very principles of love, compassion, and empathy shown unto others as we find in the good news of Jesus. Do you know that unless there is a relief package agreed by our government on December 26th, the day after Christmas, over 12 million people will lose all financial assistance, which will cause more to become homeless and hungry. My dear brothers and sisters, so what is the relevancy of proclaiming joy on this third Sunday of Advent? I believe that it is found in today's gospel and in the personage of John the Baptist. We read that there was a man named John sent by God to give testimony to the light so that all might believe. John's message was simple. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. In his message, we find the joy that the world waited for and has offered to all who would honestly seek the Lord. If only people could lose their selfishness, their ego, and truly search for the presence and the grace of God in their lives and in the lives of others. The very coming of Christ fulfilled the hopes and the aspirations of those who were waiting for the one who would bring peace. Did not John Lennon from the Beatles put it in this way? All we are saying is give peace a chance. You know, this Christmas will be unlike Christmases that many have experienced in the past. There will be less celebrations and more empty chairs around the table in so many homes. But in, even in the midst of so many storms we find ourselves in, there is still hope and peace found in believing in Christ Jesus. I think the message that can be shared today is not to give up. How resilient are people who strive to make the most of their situation in this upcoming holiday season. Though so many people have been knocked down with personal tragedies, there are so many others who offer a lending hand to help lift up their neighbors in need. Though the light has become dimmer for so many, there are many others who are sharing their light of hope, peace, and joy to those in need. The joy at this time, I believe, is found in the humble, sincere souls of individuals who truly seek to help others by personally living the good news of Jesus Christ. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, the third candle of Advent, the candle of joy, may we all gaze upon it and strive to bring that joy to others, to bring hope where there is little hope, to bring peace, calm, and comfort to others in the storms of their lives, and to bring about the message of joy that God truly loves them, hears the cries and the anguish of his people.
people and who sends us forth as believers and followers of his son to help spread the good news of deliverance and salvation to all. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one on God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. But you have given my heart more joy than they have when grain and wine abound. of your house in the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, men in whose hands are evil devices, and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity, and redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground in the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the remembrance of the passion 
resurrection and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty God, you fill us with joy by the coming of your only begotten Son. Accept our offering and fulfill our hopes. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your whore hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. For through the promise sending of Jesus Christ, you revealed your goodness and a unending love. Sharing in the hopes of the patriarchs and the prophets, may we worthily prepare a dwelling place for the coming Messiah in our hearts. Therefore, we join with the voices of angels and dark angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In our prayers today, let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, all those suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic, let us remember in our prayers all the doctors, nurses, first responders, and caregivers who courageously have placed their lives on the line to help and assist others in need. Let us remember in our prayers the homeless, the hungry, and the unemployed. Let us remember all the abused and neglected children in our world as well as all victims of violence both here and abroad. Let us remember and give thanks for all those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad. And also all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, who offer up to you, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others. The memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord, amen.
O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing unto yourself so that it might be filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries and with spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to accept these offerings with favor and joy as you would accepted them from the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, O holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, the Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merit be eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same, Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you did say unto your apostles, My peace I leave you, my peace I give unto you. Do not look upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant it peace and unity of, according to your holy will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins. And from every evil, keep me faithful to your teaching, and never let me be parted from you. Who lives and reigns, God, forever and ever. Amen. Partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, may it not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness, may become my safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in all of us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. My brothers and sisters, let us now offer the prayer an act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament, in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen.
And may this temple gift become to us an everlasting gift. which I have received and your blood which I have drawn cling to my innermost being and grant that no sin remain in me in whom these holy sacraments have nourished who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Son, through the sharing of this Eucharist, enrich us with the grace to accept his teachings without condition and fulfill his will. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let, let us bless the Lord. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which we, the unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty and be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the life. Life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe. But only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten, not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and dwelt, made his dwelling among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son, come, coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. sharing with us today's Holy Mass. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, 
rest upon you and all your loved ones. And may the angels of God watch over all of us to guard us, protect us, and guide us back unto the Father. We will conclude this morning's service with the offering of prayer for the intentions that we had offered, as well as for our own special intentions this day. May God bless all of you, and may he be with you until we come together again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. In perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.